Number six, write a balanced equation describing each of the following chemical reactions. And then we have letter B. In this example, it says solid aluminum metal reacts with solid diatomic iodine to form solid Al2I6. Okay, so we basically just have to take this information, right, which was written to us in a sentence form, and we just have to write it in terms of a balanced chemical equation. So when they give it to you in a sentence form, just work with you know, just go from left to right, just like a sentence, right? Now, let's, let's start breaking it down. Let's use our context clues. They said that solid aluminum metal reacts with, hmm, it looks like that means to me that aluminum is coming in contact with something else. And in this case, aluminum is reacting with iodine, right? Diatomic iodine, but iodine nonetheless. So if it's reacting with, they have to be added together, right? They're coming in contact together. So this really means like an addition sign. It looks like aluminum is being added with iodine to form. That's a context clue, right? If you're forming something, you're, you're making something, right? You're going to produce something. So that basically means it's like the equal sign, right? If you think about it in terms of like a mathematical formula. In chemistry, however, that is a yield sign. A yield sign is kind of like an equal sign. It just shows you what you're going to make. And in this case, you're going to make Al2I6. So if we just put the, the basics together, we have aluminum, so Al, reacting with plus iodine, so I'm just gonna put I for now, to form equal, but in chemistry it's a yield, and they tell me it's Al2I6. There you go. So this is how we say it in chemistry terms. These two things came together to form this. Now, however, we just have to go back and make sure that we you know, crossed our T's and dotted our I's. They told us that it was a solid aluminum metal. So I have to put the state there. They said it was a solid. So I'm just going to go to aluminum, and I'm going to say that it was a solid, an S. That aluminum is reacting with a solid diatomic iodine. Hmm. So I have two things going on here. Let's first clear up the solid part. That means that, you know, the iodine is going to be an S as well. But now what does diatomic mean? Well, in chemistry world, di means two. Atomic means atoms. So if anything is a diatomic, that means that you just have two atoms of it. And in this case, you have two atoms of iodine. So instead of just having an I, one, you have an I, two. That's a diatomic molecule right there. Anything that is, uh, you know, element two. So like H2, diatomic. N2, diatomic. O2, diatomic. So that takes care of that. And now we're forming solid Al2I6. So they told me it was a solid. So there we go. And now I wrote my equation. However, is it balanced? you should always just double check, okay? You can't go forward and you can't do any math that involves balancing equations without having, having it balanced. So just take, you know, a couple of seconds and just look at it to see if it's balanced. Um, we've done the T-chart method by learning how to balance equations. However, let's try to just look at this as a whole and see if we could balance it. I have one aluminum on the reactant side. However, I have two aluminum on my product side. So I know that I need to add a number here, right? If I want to get two and I only have one, I need to add a two in front of here. And that's going to balance out the aluminums. Remember, you can never just add a two here down below or a three. It always has to be a, a coefficient when you are balancing your equation. Now let's look at the iodine. I have 
two iodines here. And remember, the only reason why there was an I2 down here was they told me it was a diatomic. They did not say aluminum diatomic or diatomic aluminum. That doesn't exist, by the way. Aluminum by itself will only be just Al. So we have two iodines, but we have six here, right? There's a little six here. So I know that I have to put a number here. And it's multiplication. Two times what will get me six? Oh, two times three. And now everything's balanced. This is your final answer. That's your balanced chemical equation. This would technically be the balanced molecular equation, um, but it's balanced nonetheless. So either this, you know, this answer is perfect, 100%. Yeah? Okie dokie. Guys, uh, that's it. This one was quick and easy. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Uh, click the like button if you would like to. And I hope you guys are having fun learning chem. And yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye-bye.